Okay, I have my face on today because today is day one of the conference. I'm so pumped right now. If you haven't already, you know, figured that out throughout the first video I posted, I'm actually exporting this video right now. Now all I'm doing is waiting for Desiree to get here. She's still prepping for something secret on Saturday that she was hinting at um, yesterday that Greg has also been working on and I'm so pissed that he hasn't been able to tell me anything but he knows enough to tease me about it. So, But I'm excited for her, I'm excited for everyone else so all I'm doing right now is playing the waiting game. Um, I had a pop tart, I've had some trail mix, I'm ready to go for today. Let me just take a moment and appreciate this makeup job. Like, look at those wings. You see that? Ugh. Do you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I heard it was snowing in Michigan today. I've got sunshine. When we're having fun. It's really easy to tune out everyone in the world. You're in my car, so I'll drive real slow. Cause when you're with me, I don't want this moment to go. Oh, la 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 la. Day one is done. It was such a good day with so many people I got to meet again. Um, it was so nice just to see everyone and, uh, you know, network and communicate and all that jazz. So that was uh, such a good start to the day too. Justin Stumball um, came up on stage and talked something very similar to what was done last year that inspired me to create Overcomer. and. Um, you know, a lot of the things he said were really impactful and um, and I knew what he said, you know, resonated with me, but I think, I don't know, I, I feel like I have grown numb in some areas or I've intentionally blocked off areas of my heart where I don't want to process things. Um, because, I mean, last year I, I was totally vulnerable and exhausted that I couldn't keep up any walls. So when he spoke last year, I was just in tears. I was like, oh my god. But yet, the stuff that he spoke today was very similar to what he did last year. And it was such a, a good reminder too. And I was so excited that I was able to just man up, grow some balls, and actually talk to him. Uh, Justin and Abby. So I'm hoping to talk to them again tomorrow. I think Abby's speaking tomorrow, either that or Saturday, but I want to be able to have like at least a decent conversation with them. But yeah, they're my favorites so far. No offense to all the other speakers. I just have just a special place in my heart. So anyway, there's just a lot of things to process and especially what Justin told us to do. Oh, what did Justin tell us to do? Well, he gave us homework, right? 20 things you enjoy about yourself. Like, okay, huh. Huh. that's gonna be fun. And then he asked some questions on like, why are you afraid to do certain things and what are you avoiding in order to overcome those fears? And why are you avoiding them? And all that stuff. I still have some deep-seated fears, I really do. And they're, like, they've been bothering me since childhood too. And it all stems from childhood as well. And so there's a, there's a lot of stuff that I need to process and everything in order to move on. Um, but yeah, this will be a very interesting um, time tonight. There's going to be another early morning tomorrow. Um, I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow. I don't know exactly who's speaking, but it's going to be good. And I get to meet Greg tomorrow too. He'll be off work early, so I'll be able to see him later tomorrow night. Um, and then we'll have all day Saturday together, and Sunday is Disneyland Day, so woohoo! Alright, I'm going to finish processing, and maybe crying, because I feel like I need to cry it out. I feel like I need to cry. I'm just not letting myself. So I should make myself cry. 
for reasons. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Go home.